Hello, welcome to the Internet Marketing Course. This week we're going to talk about adding content to your website. So, before you start, let's look at some of the things you need to do to prepare for what you're about to add to the website. So the first thing is prepare your content to add to the website. Now one way of doing this is to open a Word document and open the article which you want to add to your website. So I've got the Word document prepared and now I know that I can uh, upload it as soon as I'm ready. The next thing is prepare the images that you want to um, upload. So once again I've optimized all of the images that I want to upload to the website and I've put them into a folder called images for website so I have them in one place it means it's going to be easy for me to find them when I need to do that okay once you've done that you need to go to the website login the login is usually found on the contact us page as I'll show you in a moment although on the website that I'm going to work on which is uh, the BAC website the logins on the home page and that's because we have a membership program which we haven't launched yet but it will enable people to who are members to log in and get access to premium content. Next you add your content then save it. One of the reasons why I prepare my content in Word is because if you take too long to type it in you get bumped out of the um, the, the editor on the website. Uh, I think it's set to last for about half an hour but if it takes you longer than half an hour your login will um, cease and if you get out of the editor you may lose the article that you put in. Of course the um, safe thing to do there would be to copy the article that you type into the editor and then paste it into Word but generally I do it the other way around. Once you've saved your content preview it, make any changes that's required and then Bob's your uncle you're finished. Why do we take the trouble to add content to our websites? Well fa the fact is that as you know there are hundreds of millions of websites on the internet and the only thing that distinguish distinguishes one website from the other of course is the unique content that each website has on it. So it's really important and of course it's important for other reasons especially the fact that uh, it's your content that the search engines look for and if your content is different to and fresher than other websites contents then you've got a greater chance of it being thrown up when someone makes a query and of course another reason is that when people come to your website what reason have they got to stay on it if you don't give them something worthwhile I would like to just spend a moment to look at something called the golden triangle now researchers have done studies into the way that people actually read websites and what we have here is an image um, that is an eye tracking map showing where people look and click first when they do a search on Google and other studies have shown that the that web users follow a similar pattern on most other of web, most other websites when they um, go to them as well so in essence they behave the same way and what that means is that they tend to see this part over here of your website first and probably pay more attention to that than say for instance the things that are over here so if you've got something really important that you want people to see then putting it down on this side of your website down the bottom right hand corner is not going to be effective if you want people to really see and act on something you need to put it up here um, and so let's see that as it applies to websites you can see here it means this left hand triangle over here and here 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 that's the key area of your website now I know it's amazing that that tends to be the place where we put the navigation bar and I guess that's because people wanted uh, their visitors to be able to see the navigation bar and see what's on the website but in actual fact it really doesn't make sense from the point of view of if you want to make money from your website you really want to put your ads and things there I must admit the websites that we create we also put the navigation bar there because that's the convention and uh, you know that's where people look for the navigation bar why do they look for it there because that's the key area that people uh, go to when they want to um, find out what's on the website but you know that's also the key area that they go to if they were looking if you had an advertisement and so on 
Okay, let's go to uh, a website. And firstly, I want to show you that uh, on your website, this is the Office Switch. If you wanted to find the login uh, screen, you go to the Contact Us page and you will see the login screen over here on the left hand side, where you probably can't miss it because of the reasons I've just mentioned before. But on the BAC website, because we have a membership program, our login is over here. So I'm going to log in here. Once you log in, press click login. Ah, forgot my password. Okay. Got it right this time. So now we're logged into the website and I want to add content. Now, one of the things I want to point out to you is that if you have an article already on your website and you want to edit that article, you can do so by navigating to the article, putting your cursor over that little um, notepad that comes up once you're logged in, and that would enable you to click on edit. So I could go in and actually update that article if I wanted to. But 